Good day, viewers! We're diving into a high-stakes international situation as the U.S. and U.K. respond to a surge in Houthi attacks on cargo ships. Have you ever wondered what unfolds behind the scenes when nations respond to threats on the high seas? Today, we bring you a gripping tale of geopolitical tensions, missile strikes, and maritime chaos. Stay tuned! Breaking news as the U.S. and U.K. launch a joint counteroffensive targeting 18 Houthi sites in Yemen. These precision strikes aim to neutralize the growing threat posed by the Iran-backed militia group. Why now? The answer lies in the recent Houthi airstrike on the MV Torm Thor, a U.S.-flagged oil tanker in the Gulf of Aden. U.K. Defense Secretary Grant Shapps emphasizes the necessity of protecting lives at sea and ensuring freedom of navigation. Shapps highlights RAF Typhoon Jet's engagement in precision strikes to degrade Houthi drones and launchers, underlining the duty to act alongside allies. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin doubles down, pledging to disrupt and degrade the capabilities of the Iranian-backed Houthi militia. He warns of continued retaliatory action, sending a strong message that the U.S. will defend lives and global commerce in critical waterways. Joining forces, a coalition including Australia, Bahrain, Canada, Denmark, the Netherlands, and New Zealand expresses support. The joint statement underscores the aim to de-escalate tensions and restore stability in the Red Sea, issuing a clear warning to the Houthi leadership. The Houthi campaign, with at least 57 attacks on ships since November 19, disrupts global trade. Attacks on the Suez Canal trade shortcut, responsible for 12% of global maritime traffic, prompt shipping reroutes. The stakes are high, as shipping companies navigate longer, costlier routes around Africa. The Houthi campaign, claiming solidarity with Palestinians, has faced near-daily U.S. strikes. Despite efforts, Houthi attacks persist, targeting not only commercial vessels but also a U.K.-owned cargo ship and an American destroyer. The international community remains on high alert. As tensions escalate, concerns rise about the environmental impact. The recent attack on the UK-registered Rubimar cargo vessel raises questions about potential spills, with the internationally recognized Yemeni government calling for swift action to avert a significant environmental disaster. That's a wrap for today's video, delving into the complex web of international responses to Houthi threats. What are your thoughts on this escalating situation? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth analyses.